Hi, hello, yes, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do this for quite some time, actually reacting to my old films. If you didn't know, I was a film major in college, still am a film major, and I was studying film in high school. Now I created a few videos with my friends for projects or just for fun, and oh boy, there are a lot. Each one of them has a specific story of what has gone down in these videos and the making of this video. I'm so excited to show you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my God, I, <laughs> I look like Little Miss Fortune. You know, like the girl and the story bus Little Fortune. She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do an impression of her. I, I tried, it failed. All right, let's get started. So the first film we are watching is the short film that I did back in college, which is called The Horror Story. It is really good. I sincerely love filming this. It was with Colin and my friend Tyler. You'll just have to watch and see what they do. All right, let's watch. Okay, Monster Love, that's a good intro. I wanted to call it um, Horror Story, but I decided Monster Love is way better, but let's do it. <laughs> Girl, let's walk. Who are you grieving over? Some person. Bestie, who are you grieving over? Some random ass grave. We actually looked up graveyards near me. We just picked a random graveyard. And Colin was like, I'm so nervous to film in here. What if they kick us out? Oh my God, like he was generally so nervous that we're gonna get kicked out or like we we're being disrespectful. I promise you we were not being disrespectful to any of the graves. We were being very proper with what we were doing, but he just was like, oh my God, I'm so scared. And I'm like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that lady, oh my God. <laughs> I literally was like, let me tore up your clothes. He was like, what? So we took one of his old flannels, tore it up, and I got some fake blood on him, and then he painted his face green. I should have done a better job. I am no makeup artist or special effects artist. This was a poor job. Oh my God. Oh yeah, um, my underwear accidentally shown, so I had to like block that out and I literally explained to my teacher, I'm so sorry, my underwear was exposed. And she's like, girl, you're good. Oh, look how cute he is! Oh my God! That is actually our promise ring that he bought for himself. <laughs> yeah? Oh my God, the makeup. <laughs> Oh, honey. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> that was actually planned. I'm like, we're gonna make your arm fall off and it's gonna be amazing. And he's like, okay. We actually bought flowers in a Kroger's actually dressed like this. He was dressed as a zombie and we drove to Kroger's to grab flowers and some other props. And I actually took some pictures with the flowers, which check out my Instagram link in bio, which I love the photo shoot. It was so cute. Yes, we have dino nut, not dino, chicken nuggets because we were hungry and that was the only food that I, I could like, you know. <laughs> that really close shot of him drinking is gorgeous. Oh, are they gonna kiss? Are they gonna, nope. I felt so bad. I'm like, be careful when you fake fall. And he's like, oh, I've done this plenty of times. He has. Oh, <gasps> she poisoned it. <laughs> I literally had a, I switched out the drink, which thank God I did. Cause 
Um, the inside joke with the vanilla abstract will come in into the other video, which you will watch in the next clip. But oh my god, that is so funny. Also, yes, I did forget my ring there and I freaked out and we had to drove back to grab my ring. <laughs> so Tyler was the cameraman slash the zombie. It was so much fun filming him being a, not zombie, but like a mummy. He was a quote, rich mummy. I was a sugar baby. <laughs> I felt so bad. Toilet paper was falling apart. Everything was falling apart on him. And I'm like, we gotta hurry this up and film it. He's like, right, sorry. And it was so funny. I literally almost peed myself. Yay! Oh my god. That was so fun. I, I'm so glad I have friends like this who generally want to be in these videos. And like, it makes me happy that they like filming these things like I do. All right, let us go to the next clip. So this one I did was back in high school. It was with, again, Tyler, Colin, and then Tyler's girlfriend, Avery. We decided to film a music video, which was Jesse Page, Zombie. Now, unfortunately, I cannot play the audio because copyright, so we'll have to listen to it in silence, but it's exciting. I really like how I did the intro. I was really proud of that. Oh, there's Miss Housewife. Oh my god, he his old haircut. He looks so cute. Oh, thanks, Colin. <laughs> I told him he has to be a jerk, and he's like, oh. Okay, pushing in the chair. Misogynistic. Make me a sandwich. Mm -hmm, very stereotypical. Ooh, that was a good, like, push. I told him he had to be aggressive with me, and he felt so uncomfortable, and I felt so bad. Because I'm like, oh yeah, you have to be like mean to me. And he's like, I don't want to. Oh my god. That scene was so awkward to film. So I was right there behind him. And so was Ty Avery's girl boyfriend. I'm terrible with words. Avery's boyfriend, which was Tyler. And they were both so uncomfortable. But I'm like, I would only be it for a split second. And he's like, I don't like this. And Avery's like, same here. This is weird. And then afterwards, we just laughed about it. And Avery's like... I am uncomfortable and Colin goes same here. This is gross. <laughs> but it was it was cute. Yep, the sandwich. I love the facial expression that I have here. You can really tell that I'm pissed off and angry. And the emotion, if you can actually listen to the song and like sync it up to this, it's perfect. I I was so proud of this project. Also, I love that dress. It was a beautiful housewife dress and I love it so much. Oh my God, not the garage. <laughs> oh my God, I felt so bad. I thrifted that dress and I'm like, Avery, put this on. This is the sluttiest thing I have. No, it's not, but. <laughs> oh, run, bitch. <laughs> this scene was so shocking because he fake slapped me and he cried afterwards because he felt bad because he'd never want to lay a hand on me and I felt so bad for him, but I love that scene. Okay, I actually cried because I was so stressed out with a lot of things at the time and I'm like, wait, I'm crying, I need to record this. <laughs> so I'm like, good thinking. Okay. And then I used the same clip again just because like, I'm not gonna refilm that. But I like the aggression, yes bitch. <laughs> Yep, same stock clip. I want to get to the fun part, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god. So here's where the vanilla abstract comes into play as the joke. Oh, yes, bitch. So here's just what happened. So you see that if you, can I zoom in here? No, I cannot. On the sandwich, I did not switch out for another sandwich. I wanted to get his genuine reaction. So I didn't switch out the sandwiches at all. I put vanilla abstract onto the sandwich and have him eat it. This is all raw footage. <laughs> See, he fakes falls again. Also, after we recorded that, he literally spat out 
the sandwich and started gargling water because he goes, this is fucking gross. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. And then Tyler tasted it and he said the same thing. <laughs> He's getting dragged. Oh my God. I'm so mad because you can see Avery there. And I told Tyler not to, it's not his fault. It's my fault with the directions that I gave him. So yeah, this is the part where I just lost it. I had him get, I had Tyler get on his knees and film like this because we used my phone. And yeah. Also, damn girl, you're jabbing into him. Okay, period. Period boo. <laughs> Ooh, that one was a good shot. So I will admit with this project, I loved it a lot. It was a lot of fun, but I do wanna say one thing though. This does not tie to the House Life series. A lot of people ask me if it does. It kind of somewhat does, not really, but once you see the TikToks that I'll be filming in the next few weeks with the Housewives series, you will understand where the storyline comes from. All right. Hi, my name is Emily Tito. I oh, baby, me! We're going to be showing you what it's like to be on a track team during COVID. So let's get on rolling. Hey, Emily. The shoes in the intro, that is my proudest moment. You can hear Colin yell. <laughs> That's Tyler. Totally don't always talk about. <laughs> he is such a dork. Oh my god. The B roll was really good. This is really good B-roll. I am proud of what I filmed. But for the most part, when we actually are running, the mask gets off. It feels feels like just somewhat something normal in the world. If the clip looks weird, I had to cut it out because one of the teachers were in there. And I don't know how comfortable, like, how that works with, like, teachers and stuff. With students, I know it's fine, but with teachers, I don't know how that works. So I'll be, like, cutting some clips out. So I'm so sorry if it looks weird and funky. Um... Getting everyone in one spot and being together. She's so cool. Generally, the coolest person I've ever fucking met. Is, well, like I said, someone's always being quarantined or something. So if they're not losing a teammate, it's something else. So, um, <laughs> I just threw 124.9, which the record was 121 and discus. That's fucking impressive. Yeah, that's cool. Like, holy shit. I do the four by eight. That's Avery. Girls, obviously. That is and Tyler's then, girlfriend. Um, she is amazing. And the 800. I would say the hardest part about track is um, getting into shape for the season. And then not only that, but being able to recover well after it races. My favorite thing about track is the community. I've made a lot of friends through track. And I just overall enjoy running. Well, I definitely learned that track is like all about running. <laughs> That you can do other things as well. And it's more than just a running team, it's a family. So if are you, I would definitely go check it out. Alright folks, that's what it's like to be out of track COVID-19. I'm Emily Tivo and I'll see y'all later. Oh my god. <laughs> the voiceover, I hate it. Terrible. Like my voice mm, too close with the microphone. Everything else is perfect. I felt like the B-roll was amazing and everything else was great. The students, I really wish I could show you the teachers, but unfortunately I am afraid to that I'm gonna get sued and we can't afford that. So yeah, if you enjoy watching like old films or me reacting to films or reacting to anything, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more. And yeah, remember to stay positive, spread awareness, spread kindness, and I'll see you later. Bye chickens.